Yeah, you know, guys, Pete from Pete's Tools. Have you ever wondered if your uh, Cut 50 or Cut 40 plasma machine could run one of these big sucker guns, one of these uh, P80 100 amp guns? Um, let's have a go, and uh, we'll see what we can find out, eh? And always remember, guys, if you like the channel, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, and uh, let's get into it. Oh, before we get into it, guys, hey, hey, listen, I've got a joke for you, hey. A construction worker walks into a bar with a slab of asphalt on his on his shoulder and the bartender says to him, what can I get for you? And the construction worker says, oh, one cold beer for me, buddy, and one for the road. Yeah, all right, all right, stick with the plasma cutter shit. We know, guys. Anyway, let's get into this video, eh? So if anyone's watching the video after that terrible joke I just told, well, good luck to you and thanks for watching. Anyway, today what I want to talk about is the different um, guns that we can use on our uh, Cut 40 or Cut 50 machine. And, um, yeah, the ones that you'd expect that you can use and the ones that you might not think that you could use. Anyway, this is my machine, as you know, and uh, I'll just run through the guns that we know that we can use on this. I've got some other videos on that. Just click above there and you can find those other videos on the different sorts of guns and, and things that'll work with this. And uh, we'll get going, eh? So these are about the most common guns you're going to get. Torches, guns, torches, whatever you call them, with these Cut 40, Cut 50 machines. You got your PT-31, which we all know is going to work with the Cut 40 or Cut 50. We've got an SG-51 like this, which also works on this machine. The Cut 40 and the Cut 50, so you may have this one, or you may have this one. We have a PT-31 like this, which is the same, as, basically the same as an LG-40. It's just a different, uh, different name for different countries. So you have the LG40 and the PT31, which are basically the same torch. We have an AG60, which is uh, you can also use for these machines, but these are rated at 60 amps. Whereas these, well, this one here, the PT31, is a 40 amp torch. Uh, the LG40 is a 40 amp torch, and the SG51 here is a 50 amp torch. So we're sort of half in the middle. You know what I mean? But what I want to know is. Can we run this little machine with this big sucker torch? Now this sucker here is a P80. It's rated between 80 and 100 amps. Most people use them on a 100 amp machine. Three phase normally, these are. So, will this torch run on this machine? And what do we learn when we try it? Anyway, I'll, I'll plug it in and we'll have a go and we'll see what we can find out. As you can see, guys, the difference torch sizes is quite remarkable. See, there's a 100 amp torch here to a 60 amp torch here. That's quite uh, quite a lot bigger, this, this sucker. And then if we go down to uh, like a PT31 torch like this, or the, or the LG40, see the size comparison is, is really different, eh? This is like an industrial three-phase machine, and this is like a, your home workshop thing. But um, I know you can't put smaller torches on bigger machines, but can you put bigger torches on smaller machines? Anyway, let's have a go at this, guys, and see what happens. So there's my Cut 40, guys. Here's the torch that we're trying to get to run on it, 100 amp torch, a big sucker here, and here's the leads, the other end of it, so you can see them, not a problem, I don't want any trickery here, I'll show you exactly what I'm doing, so I'll put that torch up there, and then we'll hook this up to the machine, now this is a pilot arc torch as well guys, this has a, uh, has your lead here for the air, and it also has a pilot arc wire here so if you notice that this is a, a P80 pilot arc torch it has the extra green wire here that you're supposed to put on to the machine here which it hasn't got a terminal for so we won't bother about that so there's another thing against it it's obviously not going to work this is a pilot arc torch this is a non pilot arc machine and the torch is twice as big as what the machine is designed to do so we'll hook them up and we'll see what happens And most of these Chinese machines have all got the same fittings on the front, so they're all interchangeable, all these torches. But I mean, there's not much point in interchanging them if they don't work. So this wire here is doing nothing, so we'll just leave that dangling down there, or we'll wrap it around here, or do something with it. Just uh, so you can see. Like that. And if you uh, watch my other video there, I've got another video on how to convert this sort of machine to a pilot arc machine. Um, and one easy step so check check out for that as well check up the top and I'll put a link up to that guys Anyway, so what I'll do is I will start the machine and we'll try and cut something eh? Rightio guys, I've set it up now. I've got a piece of plate here 
I've got my earth clamp on here. You can see it's just clamped in here. There's my uh, cut 40 machine. As you can see, no trickery there at all. I've got my pilot arc wire just wrapped around here. It's doing absolutely nothing. Pilot arc torch, 100 amp torch. Well, you reckon this torch can cut this plate? Well, let's have a look. Turn them on. Hear them start up. Body up. So, we'll see what happens. Well, hell, that was pretty cool cut. It was pretty clean cut. Pretty fast cut. And wow, this is like say a 100 amp torch. Now that feels really nice to use too. It um, it's just it just feels really comfortable because it's big and you can you can sort of you know what I mean. You can sort of steer it a little bit easier. I'll try and do something else with it and see we'll, see if we'll do something a bit better. See that guys, I don't know if you can see that or not, but that cuts one heck of a lot easier doing patterns than what the, uh, than what the smaller torches do. I don't know if you can see that or not, I'll see if I can zoom in on that guys, just give me a second. Can you see that edge there? This is actually a proper cut edge. Um, if I'll show you the other end of it, hold on, I'll uh, grab a pair of pliers so I don't burn myself. So that's the bit I, that's the bit I cut off, but see how that's quite a nice clean cut. Um, quite surprising actually, see how, and it's all shaped, it's quite surprising actually. Um, I might do another one actually, and uh, we'll see if it's, uh, if it's the same or any better. Yeah, that's quite awesome. So what I'll do guys, is just try and do a shape or something, do an S or something like this. And see if it's uh, any easier to cut out with the bigger torch. Yeah, that's what we'll do. So I'll try and cut out a bit of a shape with the uh, bigger torch and see how we go. You just seem to be able to steer it a little bit better for some reason. And like these consumables are rated at 100 amps, so they're going to last forever in a little machine like this. Wow, that's quite impressive really. And uh, also this is a pilot arc torch, and my machine is not a pilot arc machine. But um, yeah, so that's pretty interesting. I think that's pretty interesting anyway. So what have we learned today? We've learned that you can put a bigger torch on a smaller machine, but you can't put a smaller torch on a bigger machine because you'll uh, fry the torch. But that's quite quite good really, isn't it? Um, that's quite amazing. Very impressed with that. Let's have another go, Pete. Yeah, that's really good. Tight corners. See that? That's 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 pretty impressive. I think that's pretty impressive anyway. Wow. That surprised me even guys, that surprised me. Anyway, that's about it for today. If you like my video, subscribe. Sorry about that stupid joke earlier on, but you know how it is. You know how it is. <laughs> anyway guys, we'll see you next week.